Steinax X has been nerfed. He was nerfed a while ago, and for anyone who was unaware of what the nerf or the changes were, basically used to be able to go in his four and cast his first, his second, his third ability while also being in his fourth ability. After using it, you could use it again without touching the ground. So they've changed this, so now you actually have to touch the ground after using your fourth ability to use it again, and you can no longer use your first, second, and third ability while in your fourth ability. But is this nerf actually mean anything? Pretty much no. So let me just go over the build really quick. Quick thing to note here, Steinax's passive gives him extra crit chance based on the amount of shields he has. So this is the build, the new build that I have. It's not a zero form of build. Okay, so the first thing that you want is Molt Augmented Arcane Energy. Now you don't really need these, but Molt Augmented is going to give you an extra 60% power strength, and that's just going to bring your power strength up to tons, like 283. And then also with Moderized Void Sling, you're going to be able to get an extra 40 from the Sling Strength, so that gives you an extra 100% ability strength, giving you 323. If you have an Aura Form right here, or just a V, you can put Growing Power for even more strength. You could put anything here that you want. I was just testing a whole stamp to see how it would work, and it was alright. But yeah, you can use whatever Aura here you want. Uh, you could use Crystal Projection, you could use whatever. But if you have over 200% Power Strength, then your second ability will be doing Full Armor Strip and Shield Strip. Your first ability is going to crowd control enemies by pinning one of them to a wall and if you do get the, the enemy pinned to the wall then it'll suck in all the enemies around it big range and then it explodes afterwards so that's pretty useful uh, i like to use this to group up enemies this to strip their shield and armor and this i like to keep equipped all the time and this is a big thing if you don't equip this all the time then you'll run out of energy and shields so what does this do this gives you energy based on your strength and like the other stats too but mostly strength is what's important here and like duration i guess but like the more strength you have the more energy per second you're getting as well as the more shield you'll get for kill assist and also your teammates kill assist will also grant them shield too very useful free shield getting for teammates your fourth ability is great it's not really it's you, you don't even need to use it to be honest you could use just your first second and third or you could just use your third and your fourth or you could use a mixture of all four and that's what i'll be showing off in the in the footage today so we have umbrella intensify and augur secrets for strength prime flow for energy really good with energize we have boral's hatred for more shield capacity ability efficiency and reduced damage when we're airborne we have adaptation for more damage resistances prime sure footed so we don't get knocked down all the time prime continuity for the duration to fix the lost duration that we're that we have from the transient fortitude plus having more durations useful stretch for the extra range and yeah that is the build hopefully you guys enjoy the footage showing show me using it off in some steel path runs and if you want to come to the stream i'll be doing a stream soon probably after this video goes live steel path and void fissure in the void solo with Steinax. all right so first you activate your three A lot of X machine hits. I res my kitty. Why is she always die? That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Oh, oops. I need to turn on my three, dude. Oh, man. I misclicked. I was supposed to click my three, not my four. That was my bad. The uh, nullifiers are pretty strong against his four. It would seem... Uh, even his two doesn't seem to be very good at getting rid of the bubble. So, nullifiers are kind of annoying for Steinax. Not gonna lie. Yeah, if you have a weapon though that can break nullifier bubbles, then you're chilling. Both my weapons are kind of 
not the best for breaking nullify rolls, as you can see. Uh, do I have a melee that I can break? Well, at this point, I might as well just walk right inside. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should. Uh, you should definitely make sure you bring like a like a like a new core or some some kind of weapon. Some kind of weapon to break nullifier bubbles because it's fourth. I feel like it's fourth used to break nullifier bubbles, but it doesn't anymore. Unless I'm tripping. I swear it used to. And then, boy, it doesn't anymore. All right, well, I have no strawberry. And I'm fucking super weak right now. I might just die right here. Okay, I have no energy, bro. And I can't swap to my five either. There we go. Look at all these X machines, dude. They're kind of fucking me right now. Okay. I'm just so glad it won't let me. Five is not working, bro. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I need energy. Oh, oh, I don't have energy pads. That's why my energy. That's why I don't have energy. Like I tried to click an energy pad and I, was, I didn't get energy, and I was like, why? But it's because I didn't, I don't have energy pads equipped, I can't even get like a little bit of energy that way. I like how I'm just like running away from the accolades to try to find energy. You wanna fight? Come at me. I'm gonna die, aren't I? No. Well, we surprisingly were able to kill the acolyte, even with no energy, no abilities active. Weapons carried us. Uh, and also the fact that we were able to armor strip with our abilities. Why am I not getting enough secondary ammo, bro? <laughs> None in these crates. There's no ammo. <laughs> the amount of extra students and the lack of energy orbs is killing me right now. And the lack of energy pads. Like, I don't have energy pads. I can't use my abilities. Usually this wouldn't be a, this wouldn't even be a thing because I just use my third ability and I'd ha always have energy. Ugh, bro, how on the f how on the fuck how on the fuck do you run out of energy to stay in there? Have my glaive on me, wow, dude. I've just been overthinking this shit. God, I had my glaive. I forgot melee existed for a little while. Oh, you know what? It's because strawberry is dead, man. What the fuck, dude? It's my cabot always gotta die, bro. That's so annoying. Yeah, look at that. Boom! Oh, I love this. I love Steinax. Although, this nullifier shit is so annoying, bro. There's too many nullifiers, and I did not bring anything for nullifier breaking. And now I'm dead. Like, literally, just bring, like, anything to break nullifier bubbles, because if you don't, then, uh, well, Steinax's ability is no longer break the bubble like his fourth ability used to go right through the bubbles i swear unless i'm tripping oh my god why can't i just throw it <sighs> these fucking nullifier bubbles are killing me dude like bro die finally uh more nullifiers dude how do i have a nullifier weapon i'm actually cheesing because i have no nullifier weapon dude <laughs> all i needed to bring was like literally one weapon to kill the nullifier bubbles and i didn't bring anything dude i didn't know okay this is <laughs> i i didn't <laughs> okay listen you guys steinax is not a bad warfare you don't have to take it from me this is just a skill issue um i die with every warframe that i use all the time pretty much uh, i got muscle issues you know this is just a skill issue as you can see <laughs> I can't kill these nullifiers with uh, the with the bubble. The bu uh, Steinax's abilities don't do shit to the bubbles. Oh my god, I'm getting a second accolade. Oh my fucking god. I'm fucking so dead right now. Literally, I'm out here reloading. Yeah, that's dead, dude. Uh, the second ability is... Or the fourth ability is just no longer good, dude. The fourth ability... Okay, it's still good, but it's just no longer OP. Because it used to be kind of OP. Anyways... Steinax nerf real good real good not to mention nullifiers are an insane problem for Steinax without a weapon Steinax cannot do anything against nullifiers and also these weapons that I'm using fucking suck against nullifiers these AoE weapons they don't do shit against these Eximus nullifiers dude fuck 
I'm actually gonna just fail the mission because of this shit. Never mind. Like, I literally gotta use this ability to kill these guys. My, I literally have to use my operator because my operator is stronger than Steinax. Oh no, dude. I don't even know where extraction is. The game is broken. Where does it want me to go? It tells me to go underneath the ground. What does that mean? Dude, I don't even know. Okay. This is the most scuffed video I've probably made in the last like two weeks. Holy fuck. Oh well. I'm still gonna put this out because I am desperate for uh, a video. Holy shit. I need to make, dude, I have so many good video concepts, but uh, every time I try to execute them, this is what happens, dude, this, this is the results, no, I'm just kidding, but, um, yeah, what the, what in the, I almost died, imagine if I got something rare, oh, I got Aya, you know what, I'm not even complaining, just kidding, I am, what the fuck, <laughs> imagine fighting two acolytes during an extermination and dying to one of them, anyways, thank you for watching, <laughs> thanks for watching, have a good one, goodbye. I love you also. I love you for making it to then. Most people don't make it to then, but you're like the 10%. I love you.